Hey, what's going on guys? Comic Games here. Uh, recently I got a request from one of my clients uh, to help him to convert JSON lines files with indentations to the one-liners basically. So uh, let me just try to show you what I mean by saying this. So here is the example data set that is produced by one of the scrapers I've created. It's really huge file. It's up to 262 uh, megabytes if I'm not mistaken. I'm just trying to quickly check this out. Uh, oh, it's even uh, 274. So it's quite pretty huge and it really takes time to uh, to load into a text, to a text or code editor. So I, I, I'm not going to be even waiting for the end of this. I just want to say that we, we got this elements for uh, every single item in JSON format and they are separated by the, by the new line. So we need to distinguish between these elements and convert them uh, the following way so uh, all of this data would fit the only single line of code basically. So all this data would be just a one-liner. And in this video I would like to show you how exactly this can be obtained basically using the only single line of Python code, believe it, believe it or not. So we'll write the only single line of Python code within the Python interactive shell in order to convert this sort of a data to one line JSON uh, in order to make it easier to read this sort of a files with a specific JSON lines libraries in future. So if you're interested, let's actually start. So the very first thing to consider, I need actually to open my Python interpreter uh, and let me just try to grab this file name here. So if I just copy this and uh, I'll need this to, to reference basically. So uh, I have this uh, terminal uh, opened in the current working directory of my downloads. So these files are in the current working directory at the moment. So if I just uh, try to open this sort of a file and try to read the file, uh, it really takes time because the file is kind of huge and it would have print all the data available but uh, I'm not going to be doing this uh, again uh, just uh, 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 until I would be writing some uh, data to the new file because it really takes too long to watch all this stuff going on but I just want to show you, you this once guys just, just to, to give you an idea. So this is the very string and we would be separating this data by the curly brace, by the uh, closing curly braces, followed by the new line, and followed by the opening curly braces. And uh, there would be two exceptions here. So it won't work with the very first element because it starts with the opening curly braces, and uh, there is no uh, new line before that, and no closing curly braces. And also it fails uh, or accepts for the very last one. So that's the reason why we need to strip the first and the two last elements of this kind of sort of a data set in order to make it able to split by the uh, value that I've just mentioned. So uh, let me just try to implement this via code. So we're starting from the uh, element uh, uh, index of one, which is the second element already. So we're skipping the very first uh, open curly braces and we skip the the last two characters. So the minus two character is the closing curly braces and the the very last one is the new line because that that was the logic of writing this false when I was creating the scraper actually. So uh, and now we can actually try to split them by uh, this sort of a thing. So uh, closing curly braces followed by the new line for, followed by the open curly braces. And now this is a list basically and let me just try to limit this list to say up to 10 uh, elements just in order to wait waiting hours until it's kind of printed so here it is basically and first we'll write this 10 elements and then i'll write this uh, i'll run this uh i'll alter this line of code to browse the entire file basically so what are we supposed to be doing right now uh from now on we can actually uh, try to use the list comprehension technique so let's look over the items so i can say four item in this list and for every single item well let's first just kind of try to print uh this sort of item just to to have a look of how to, to have an idea of how it looks like and again you see like we don't have the closing curly braces at the very end and we don't have one uh, at the opening right over in here so uh, in order to convert these guys to json we need actually to add those so say here if instead of uh, just printing i would try to parse this using json say json loads and this item it would have given error because we don't have the proper 
formatting, right? Uh, also, we don't have JSON being imported, so let me just try to fix that first. So import JSON and this like. So you see, like we got this JSON decode error. So in order to avoid this sort of an error, we just need to say like uh, append this uh, uh, stripped uh, elements back. So we're enclosing the item with uh, the curly braces, and now it should work. Okay, perfect. So from now on, we can actually try to we can al already try to write this to um, some sort of a. Uh, to, to a new file basically so let me just try to see json loads uh yeah so here instead of printing we'll, we would be using json dumps to convert this uh newly created item to uh, uh a string back uh but with a slightly different formatting so now it should it should print the same but uh also we need to say dot right okay and json dumps and the year plus the e line okay and close well actually before writing this to file let's actually trying to print this one more time just to make sure i have no in uh, syntax error or something or, or something yeah uh yeah we got this new line separators yeah, which is great okay so from now on oh my god what have i done okay so the same output right okay so uh, from now on we can open a new file so i say open let's call this task the json line and we want to append to file stream and instead of printing this we just want to write this and now the file test.json should appear so this is how the data looks like at the moment so this is the exact format of the standard json lines uh, i was asked i was asked to convert this data uh, into basically so uh, as far as we got this example data set that looks like to be just pretty pretty well and fine uh, uh, we can actually delete this file and get rid of this uh, get rid of this uh, limitation here so just hit enter it takes uh, quite a bit of time but alas uh, compared to when it's when it's printing all this stuff and now this should be this file should have contained the entire data set okay so we did really re we really did write lots of things so the initial file uh, was the size of 274 megabytes and this one is slightly less well because we did remove the indentation character so let's have a look at this data set and yeah it's quite pretty huge as well and my computer is already lagging and going crazy over this but still uh, it seems like it's kind of exactly the format we're looking for and well, now let, let me just try to test this sort of a line with uh, another file name so uh, let me just try to copy its file name as well so I just want to copy this and here um, uh, instead of this file name I'll use this one it's slightly uh, a bit uh, it's not that big it's for about twice less file size compared to the previous one and also let me just call this test a one so to distinguish these guys okay so this file is a little bit less so it's downloading quite quite pretty fast actually but the result is literally the same so this is the very easy one uh, one line solution for converting this sort of adjacent lines with the indentation indentations into a one-liner uh, JSONs using the one-liner Python code believe it or not so this is kind of it well I'm not gonna be waiting until this is gonna be loaded just to avoid wasting your time guys so uh, I don't know I will probably just uh, 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 limit the size of these files because I'm not going to be uploading uh, 200 uh, plus megabytes to GitHub to show you this. But uh, I just use uh, I, I would use just some mm, narrowed version of these files uh, to just to help you to try try this at home basically. So just trying to 
uh, make use of this kind of single line of Python code in order to convert these uh, files from the indentation mode to one line or JSON lines mode. So, well, this is it, guys, for this tutorial, and thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it and learned something interesting out of it. This is from my site, so until next time, and take care.